Welcome back to the Morning Bell. My name is Joanne together with Raj Arya. Raj, why don't you introduce our special good-looking... Uh, That's right. So obviously yes. we want to focus at staring at him. Ah. Well, our special guest star for today is none other than Carsten Zibo, licensed NLP trainer as well as managing director of Navigo NLP Centre. Good morning and welcome to our good show morning. today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you. are you today? Excellent. Beautiful Monday. Beautiful Monday, you Thank see, because you, you're sitting next to a really beautiful... Yeah, as you can see, she has absolutely exactly. no shame at all. <laughs> but you get to used to it after a while. Um, why don't you share with us a bit of your your background? Mm -hmm. mm. Right. Well, I'm in Malaysia for over ten years already. Mm. So quite some time I've been localized. Mm. Malaysianized. Malaysianized. Malaysianized yeah. uh, boleh tahan, boleh tahan. <laughs> eating spicy, no problem. I'm originally from Germany. And uh, wonderbar, wonderbar. <laughs> <laughs> why are you laugh? <laughs> because that's the only way she knows. <laughs> that's only German and your German is probably better than mine already. Really, <laughs> it is. Mm. So I've been here for quite some time. I've been in Asia for almost yeah 15 years. I lived in China, mm -hmm. and uh, have been working in Siemens uh, for some time. Have been doing HR, human resource mm. training development, and was regional director for Asia Pacific for an in-house MBA program in Siemens. Mm -hmm. mm. So quite some time already here in Asia, and then. I start uh, at, at some point I thought I need to stay here because Malaysia is a beautiful country. It's warm every day. And is it because potentially of a special someone you met? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some people are like, okay, yeah. uh, this I, I see mean, here. Yeah, like talking about Asia, there's yeah. Singapore, there's Thailand, there is, you know, any other country but Malaysia. Yeah, well, Siemens brought me here. Right. Ah. So and then yeah. I, I stayed here, I was here as an expert based in Malaysia. And so I stayed and after that I thought, what can I do in order to stay for longer here? Because mm. in an expatriate you always have the chance to say that they send you back. Yes, and that's I, true. I, and mm. I found a way. I set up my own business here right. in 2005 and focusing on neuro-linguistic programming. Linguistic, not the... Not linguini so and not logistics. Not Those are two very, very, very okay. different. Uh, one thing yes. you mentioned that you were in HR. Was it your educational background previously as well? Or well, was it totally I, different? I saw, I agree to this area mm -hmm. yeah so uh, I my original background is from sales and um, from there I went into the area of HR uh, I started working actually in China for for Siemens where we were doing in-house MBA program sure. and from there on it just I was just pulled into this area and I right. just love it working mm -hmm. with people training people right. and helping them to, do, mm, to, I, to I get better. I could see that you know from a HR person. That's that right, that's right. The, the passion about uh, communication, uh, human Com behavior, yes. interacting with people, the, that Absolutely. kind of thing. Right, mm. right. Yes. Now, okay, we've been, we've been talking about it quite a bit in our first segment as well. Neuro Linguistic Programming, NLP. Big yeah. word, used quite, quite often these days. But can you just explain to us what is it really? Well, first of all, I didn't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the name was, of course, uh, already there when I came to it. Um, it. It sounds very complicated, but it's actually very easy. The idea is to make it also very easy. Neuro linguistic pro programming has to do with the mind, the neuro, mm -hmm. how we are thinking, the linguistic, everything about the language, how we are communicating to the outside, but also to ourselves, mm -hmm. and the programming, which are basically our behaviors which are running inside of us which are on autopilot so, yes. mm, so yeah. I, I could I could relate this to myself because sometimes here and here yeah. and here doesn't sync that is why this one tells me to say one thing but this one comes rubbish out. comes out well in a way yes so it's basically how our thoughts and yeah. our language Mm. influences our behaviors and actions. Mm. It's yeah. like, you know, this one kid telling me that, oh, you're so beautiful today, but this one comes out, oh my God, you're so, mm. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, it yeah. caused me into uh, big trouble sometimes. Does it? Oh, yeah, okay. I do. Mm. Yeah. So, and, and NLP is basically the study of, of all this one together and, and how we can change the things in our lives, mm -hmm. make things very easy and simple, basically. Right. The problems we're having has to do with how we think, how we use our language, how we express ourselves, how we think about ourselves. Mm. It's also language. Who created uh, mm -hmm. NLP? And well, was NLP this? was created quite some time ago in the, in the 70s, early 70s, by Dr. Richard Bandler and uh, John Grinder. Yep. Both came up with this one uh, and studied it and found out that people, they have a, they have a pattern right. how they do yep. things. We can see uh, Dr. Richard Bandler. Exactly. Mm. Oh. I studied with him personally. Right. He trained me in NLP. So the original pure NLP is what we are training also in Naviga NLP Center. Right, right, Which, which right. makes a difference, yes. That makes a really, really huge difference. So, okay, um, with regards to that, I believe you also work with other 
major uh, important influences in NLP as well, as you can see here. Yeah. Uh, Robert Dilts, uh, have, have worked John with, Lavelle. With Robert Dilts. Uh, Robert Dilts is one of the big yeah. developers in this field, exactly. John Laval, one John of Laval. the big best trainers in NLP in the right, world. Right. And all of them, I've, I've had the chance to work with them and, and to, to learn from them to really know how NLP is really being done and, and, and what to do in order to help people to make their lives simple, to get over their problems, be happier, more successful. Yes, mm. yes. I because there are some people out there, they are not really good at expressing themselves. They, it's not that they are no good, mm -hmm. like Raj. <laughs> it's not that he's not romantic. It's just that he's not really good at oh. uh, writing letters. Yeah. And like or, my or love life. Really yeah, she loves my love can, life. Can or lack of. Can we help him? That yeah. yeah, can you help him on that <laughs> matter? We, we can help him on that matter. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's really, it's, it's the expression. It ha can do, can be public speaking. Mm. It can be anything. It can be confidence when people have low confidence, low self-esteem. Self -esteem, that's right. Uh, have phobias, have fears of something. Y you see, this is, this is a, a good, uh, how to say it? Uh, it's really, you know, human being is really amazing because you are so outspoken, but uh, still not really good at expressing yourself kind of thing. Like I'm still very outspoken, but I'm very insecure. Mm -hmm. ah. Well, different characters have different, uh, different characters. So you try to bring out the best different in, things inside. Exactly. in yeah. everyone. Exactly. So sometimes the congruency as well, how you are internally, externally. That that that's the reason why it's. Yes. You Sometimes when you got jammed up and then... Mm. It's being reflected on the outside. True, yeah, true, true. What's the thoughts you're holding in your mind is being reflected on the outside through your body or through your language. True, true. Now, you mentioned a very interesting word just now. You used yeah. the word pure NLP. That's right. Now, obviously, uh, in the market out there, there are many variations of NLP. Yeah. Can you just explain a great more, a great, uh, more, more with right. regards to this? Yeah. You see, NLP has been around, as I said, already since the 70s. But in Malaysia, it's quite new. Well, new, it has been also around, but it's, it's still By an comparison, emerging, yeah. it's an emerging, ma emerging market. And over time, some people have split up from the field NLP, did something else. Mm. And nowadays, the thing is that some people have, are using NLP, have twisted it, turned it upside down, um, changed it, and simply misrepresented what NLP actually mm. is which sometimes gives a bad reputation to the powerful technique of NLP. Yep. And we from Naviga NLP Center, we have chosen to go out there and clean up the business in this bit. We offer quality NLP, pure NLP, the original way, like Richard Bandler intended it to do, which means it's simple, straightforward, and, and easy to apply. And, and this is why, why we say it's original NLP and not been uh, changed in any way and, and added stuff which is not supposed to be NLP at the first right. place. Yeah, because I, I've heard what you say is quite true that if used wrongly, it's a very powerful to, to use to manipulate people, for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. Influence, of course, in a negative manner as well. I mean, you can use it for good or you can use it for evil as well. That's the thing that you can use it in both ways. And that's mm. why we uh, go out there and teach it in the right way, show people how it's really being done. And you, you mentioned the word manipulation. Mm. And I always say, well, manipulation, the word itself, talking about linguistics, is a very good word, actually. Mm -hmm. When you go to a chiropractor, he's manipulating your spine. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. And yeah. the word manipulation, the negative connotations. connotation comes in only from the people mm. who are misusing it. Right. right? So mm. it manipula manipulation is basically a skillful ability to form something into something else. Right. And no that's what we're stay doing. No single, uh -huh. huh? yeah. else girlfriend can really manipulate your... Oh, okay, no, no. Oh, but <laughs> by the way, we are m being manipulated on a daily basis with yeah. all the advertisements. Yeah. Advertising yeah, is manipulation. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's manipulation. They tell me that this cream Brainwashing, uh, yeah, this make you young but still look like this. So, yeah. <laughs> How la? <laughs> really? <laughs> right. You really have to do that <laughs> to <laughs> no, me? No, no. <laughs> Monday morning, Monday morning. <laughs> I agree, totally yeah. agree with that. How and people can and you when if you, you have a child, you, you yes, mentioned. Yes, yes, yes. And you're using sometimes language also to manipulate your child to help yeah. your child to do something which oh, you I'm want. Or oh, you reward her with something. I That's also manipulating. Like, uh, always, when it's negative, I try to tell her it's a good thing. Exactly. Like being a dentist, try to exactly. manipulate yeah. her. Like, <laughs> nah, nothing, nothing is wrong. It's good for you to exactly. go to see the dentist yeah. instead of telling her that, you know, if you don't do this, you're not coming home with me. Exactly. <laughs> and you see, it's, it's about how you apply it. If you use it for something good, if you help people mm. to get on with their uh, job, to help them in their relationship, to help them get over their fears, 
then yeah, sure. If you want to use it, it is manipulation, but in a positive way. Right. Helping right. people to move because on. the word, like for example, manipulate, manipulate. It, it's just a word. It's exactly. how it's the context of how we look at this word. It could be perceived in a negative, which most people yeah. do because con, con, manipulate. Con. Ah, yeah, con, so. ah, con man. Uh, yeah, yeah. Consultant. But NLP, <laughs> NLP has nothing to do with this one. That's it's, right. It's really a okay. powerful people skill, right. uh, be it in business or be it in, in private lives, right. to help people to move on with the the problems or get over the problems and move on with their lives live happier, more successful, mm, mm. And, and simply use the skill of NLP to change things, All right. change the mindset. Mm. In the next segment, we're going to talk mm. more in terms of the how, how, how NLP, how does it, really how does it work, how the methodology. Really but before that, uh, you were from the HR background, then obviously you decided to come out and this was an area. How did you transition? Because it's not to be an NLP practitioner, yeah. of course there's a lot to it, right? Yes, right. Well, I, I got to into NLP already uh, when I was working for Siemens in HR because in HR nowadays, most people know about NLP because of the uh, skills it, it has and about how changing people and you can uh, use it in many areas. But it takes to do a practitioner first, you need to be a licensed practitioner of first, course, then a master practitioner mm. and then you need to become a trainer which you can only become with Richard Bandler himself. Mm. Yeah. Right. So you need to go to the US in order to. It sounds to like a very ro long process, isn't it? Well, well, it can be a long yeah. process, but sometimes there are some NLP out there where you can do it in 15 days. Yeah, exactly, and, and then you become a NLP practitioner. Can you be that? Really? An expert in 15 days. Wow, because this sounds more like a exactly. really scientific thing to me, you know? Yeah, and really this, is the, this is where we want to bring brain. in the quality to mm. show people what NLP is, how to learn it the proper way. Yeah, no, right. no, it's just not about making other people to scream, you can do it! <laughs> yes, exactly. <That's laughs> jump! Just jump! I know you can do it! Wah. Like that. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Right, right, right. So, um, NLP, once again, um, is it scientifically backed? I mean, is there empirical evidence to show that it actually works? Or Left is it just brain, right focus, brain. focus yeah. kind of thing like some people perceive? Well, about science that. doesn't have the right actually tools yet in order to uh, prove it scientifically. Mm. So science is actually catching up with oh. the field of NLP because we are talking about the human mind. That's right. And so many things cannot be, until today, scientifically yep. measured. Yep. And uh, so, but nowadays science is actually catching up with NLP and a lot of things. We have been talking in the field for years already. Science says, oh, we have found something. And we say, yeah, we are mm -hmm. doing this already for quite some time. <laughs> yeah about uh, how our mind works, how we understand how simple actually our mind is, and we don't have to overcomplicate it. So science is actually catching up with NLP, not the other way around. Mm, quite quite yeah. interesting, huh? It's a uh, chicken and egg kind it's of thing. In, instead of, you know, dissect the brain and see the left brain like that, the right brain like that, remember? We I, think, the I think it's, uh, the brain is still the mind, the brain the mind yeah, is still it's, a it's huge a mystery in terms it of... Yeah. It is still a mystery. Even to uh, this day. But we can make it very easy. We mm. just If you look at the simple things, and then we can switch a few buttons and we can change things easily for mm. people. And it doesn't always have to be scientifically proven. If right. I help someone to be more confident to pick up the phone mm. and make calls, I don't have to prove it scientifically if it works or not. It works. It works. Mm. Th that's the most important thing, right? It of works. Course, of course. Right. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. We'll okay. How it works. So if you have any questions you'd like to ask our expert today here, Carl's Carsten, with regards to NLP. Now I believe you have a slightly better yeah. insight mm. You have I a bit do. better okay, insight? It's not linguini, it's, it's not, not logistic. Okay. At least you're yeah. making headway here. Well, you can always <laughs> email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the Capital TV. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to see how NLP really works and mm. how you can apply it in your daily life to make you a better person. Look into my eyes, look into my eyes. Catch you after this. Look into my eyes.
catch me, Lisa King. Right, my name is Raj Jara, together with Joanne Kwan and our special guest star for today, Carsten Zibo. And we've just seen a quick video clip with regards to Navigo mm -hmm. NLP Center, which That's is right. something, a center which you founded, right? Which I founded in 2005. Okay, the first of April, no joke. Ah, <laughs> first of wow, yeah. it's How gonna auspicious. be like a lot of people will say, "Oh, so you set this up, uh, the um, NLP center on the first of April." Wait a minute, it's something. Is this April Fool joke? Is this <laughs> joke or what? Yeah. I, I thought I thought it's a nice, nice. Actually, it does. It sticks to you, up. right? It sticks. Yeah. yeah, it's a special thing that uh, everyone would uh, never forget. Right. Exactly. Mm. So, can you tell us a bit more about your center and how did you transition from mm. studying for NLP, being a practitioner, and then setting up this right. center? Well, I started with NLP when I was working uh, f uh, in another company already, and I used NLP for myself in order in training, in order to help people, the, the managers inside the organization, to deal better with the job situations and to coach them, basically. That's how I got into NLP, and then I thought, "Wow, oh, that's a really nice, nice technique, and it helps uh, myself and, and other people at the same time." So I set up the company in 2005, mm -hmm. and then I went. Well, before this, I became a master practitioner. I then decided to do the trainer level, of course, mm. and in order to tr train others in NLP. Yep. Mm. Uh, I did also a certification in hypnotherapy, so hypnosis. Because it's, it's related, right? It's related. Mm. They're two different fields. However, the, in NLP, they are very much related um, and to help people even do faster changes than they think it's possible. Right. Mm. And so since then, since 2005, basically, we are offering um, for the public the practitioner, the licensed practitioner, which is a trademark uh, by Dr. Richard Bendler, and we are representing Dr. Richard Bendler here in Malaysia. Right. We're the only company in Malaysia to offer the licensed NLP training. Mm -hmm. And we offer the practitioner and master practitioner in our center. We have our own uh, training facility where we do the trainings where the practitioners come together and learn the skills, the, the nuts and bolts on how to use NLP in their personal life. And we have a range of practitioners from uh, mothers, mm. housewives, salespeople, right. we have CEOs coming to the workshops. So they all have different uh, needs and, and different uh, uh, reasons for coming and learning NLP. Some just want to communicate with themselves better. Some want to learn how to get over their issues which they're having in their lives. Mm -hmm. um, other want to use it to improve their 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 sales techniques, for sure. example. Mm. It's it's a it's a huge range because I think doing sales is one of a quite a difficult thing that I personally find mm. that it's a, is, is a challenge. First of all, you need to be really thick faced doing sales, yeah. right? Going, yeah. going, you know, from the phone call, you, you, yeah. you know, call calling, call calling, try to make, make an appointment, appointment and the then client, see closing the client, closing the deal. Yeah, right. and with lots of tech makeup, you know, mm. hopefully that will work. And then at the end of the day, don't hit your sales target. There goes your job. Goodbye exactly. and have a nice day. Yeah, right. and, and out of what you're describing very nicely, so there are a lot of challenges for mm. people be it in sales or be it in any other job where they have targets and then they have limiting beliefs or oh, can I achieve this one, what mm. if I don't achieve and then they're creating all this this thing in their mind that they are not good enough, I can't do this one uh, and how to get over this one, this is basically how we're training people, how we're teaching mm. people in our center but also we are doing, we're working with corporates right. where we do corporate training where we basically incorporate the skills of NLP into other programs like personal mastery, leadership programs, communication skill programs in, in, in all fields, yeah? because mm. NLP is a huge umbrella. You find NLP nowadays in sports. We do sports coaching mm -hmm. for people to get better in, in their performance. Not just yeah? from a physical yeah. level, it has to be the psychological exactly. level as well. It comes, the, f the first thing is the psychological. Mm. Yeah? Uh, I mean, you can go to the gym and, and That's and right. Did I just hear one. the word gym? <laughs> <laughs> a favorite topic, sorry, not. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And but how, what about the mind? Yeah. Yeah. If if your mind is busy with all the problems you're having, and then you have to to perform, be it in in, in business or be it in sports or yeah. in any other field, and your mind is is busy with all the things, it becomes difficult to to ex to excel and and to succeed in what you want to achieve because you're so busy with all the things, and they right. affect your behavior. First, you need to understand what's going on with them, you know, with what they're thinking. Yep. Therefore, you can only start with the program instead of say you can do it 
You can do it. <laughs> yes. You can do it. Exactly. I know I can do it, but nobody tells me <laughs> how. <laughs> exactly. That's the key. I yeah, want well wonderful how you, how you said already. This is something, so many training programs, you go there, you say, yeah, I know that one. This is logical leadership yeah. programs. Sure. The yeah. five golden rules, the yeah. five magic yep, steps, yep, the well 10 said. whatever. Mm. And the people say, yeah, I've heard this a thousand yeah. times, but how? But how? Mm. Yeah? Nobody how, tells me how. do how. I do it? And NLP is basically the vehicle, the, the methodology to show you how can you achieve this. How right. do you do this one? How do, how do I um, communicate? How, how do I communicate better with my people in a way that they understand me? Maybe it's even something that the person themselves are doing wrongly. Mm -hmm. The way mm -hmm. they communicate. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You have just talked a lot about in terms of um, how it works. Eh? Mm -hmm. Now, can you just give a simple example of how you? solve this problem or yeah. how you can help these yes. people. Let's say for example, most people would have certain fears like of course Joanne's fear is of needles Jeez, and gym. Needles, green peas. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, green um, peas. Okay. Yep, I would rather starve yeah. than not eat green yeah. peas. I can't even stare at it. Yeah. If there's a plate of yeah. green peas, as you can see, Joanne has a lot of problems. She's a victim of many, many things. So, many, many things. <laughs> so how do you, break how, the fear? how do you like a very simplistic right. way of Let addressing this? Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Mm. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I, I love I love how people are doing it. I always uh, look into the things how people are doing their own fear because mm -hmm. you have to realize everything we do we do for ourselves. The sure. problems we have. The fears we have, it's just in our mind. It starts in our mind. Mm. And like Joanne has maybe fear of cockroaches. Yeah. Yeah. So if you think about a cockroach, there's a picture in her mind. Yes. Exactly. Yep. Now, when you make this picture now, black and white, yep. make it black and white, take out the colors. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like TV. Mm. And move this picture further away. Okay. Move it further away. Mm. Okay. And now make this picture really small. Okay. Very small. Mm. How is the feeling changing already towards this picture if you see this one? <laughs> yeah. So it has to do with how do we do it in our mind? There's a mm. there's a sequence to it. There's a system to it. Sure. How we do fear, how we yeah. do our problems. Yeah, true. Yeah? But when when it started to spread, it's weak. <laughs> and and if you if you did it at the first place, you can undo it. Like public speaking, most yeah. the, the biggest fear of all. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I mean, if you if in your mind a group of people looking at you with really sharp eyes mm. and really nasty, and That's you can right. hear them screaming at you That's because right. you are no good, mm. Mm. and you hear this one in your mind. Now, I'm sorry, I wouldn't also be able to, to go yes. on stage. Yeah. So other people don't have this kind of picture. They say, ah, when I see the people uh, I'm going to speak to, they are smiling, they're looking yeah. at me, and they're happy. And after the program, they come to me, shake my hands. That's a different picture, mm. which helps him to be more relaxed. Yeah? I mean, if you came here this morning every day and saying, oh my goodness, I, I hope I, I can see myself screwing up, not finding the right, right text, right. you would be nervous. You would not be able to do your job. And it right. could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Self-fulfilling prophecy, exactly. Right. And this is basically how we start to looking at the people. How do you do it? Tell me how you do your problem. And I tell you how to change. Mm. Because people are not aware how they do it at right. the beginning. And once I understand how you do your problem, well, why not do it the other way around? Right, right. I think another thing which uh, NLP looks at in great detail is the uh, subconscious. Would, yeah. would that be right? Yeah. right? Because it's in fact more powerful than our conscious mind. Because exactly. it's like working behind, you know, to uh, exactly. turning away. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to know about your subconscious mind? I would like to know what my subconscious mind is telling me. Well, but yeah. still, we, we still do <laughs> it. But, but, but we still do it. Yeah. You know, something, you know, a little voice there. Don't do it, don't do it. Exactly. But you still do it. Mm. That's, the question a why. Mm. That's a conscious yeah. mind. That's a conscious mind. Well, these subconscious or unconscious mind, yeah. uh, both, both is the same, same thing. Yeah. Um, everything, as you mentioned already, the subconscious mind is so much more powerful than the right. conscious mind. Everything is stored in the, in the subconscious mind. The programs are stored inside yep. there. That's mm -hmm. where our, our behaviors is being stored. Yeah? Right. Like here in Malaysia, you're driving on the road and someone cuts in front of you and you just scream an animal name. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You, you, you come up with all these words yeah, yep, and, yep, yep. And, and become really uh, mm. not angry, so happy. Right, yeah, right, not right. so happy and all this stuff. Now, this is a program basically running inside of us. Like when you hit, hit the enter button on a computer, right. the program is running. That's right. And it's like autopilot, right? You well, don't yeah, it's think it's kind of, you think it's autopilot, but it's, you have taught yourself to yeah. react in this way. That's right, that's right. Yeah? But you don't have to. If yes. you want to get over this one, you, you have a choice mm. to react differently. Sure. And working on the... Example? Well, stay calm. Yep. Now think about it. The person who cut in front of you, 
How many times have you cut in front of someone? Mm -hmm. But and you don't, perspective. you don't know this p person. Maybe he has really Rushing got to the call. hospital. Yeah, exactly. Emergency. Emergency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. So we have to, yeah. so we have to be conscious and be aware of what's exactly. what's happening and then yeah. change wow, it. Wow, that's all quite right. Difficult. Okay, just hold that thought. We're going to take a sh quick commercial break right now. Of course, you have any thoughts with regards to all we have, which we have spoken? Well, you can always email us at updates at capitaltv.my or tweet us at the Capital TV. We're going to have a short video clip at some of the training which goes on at Navigo NLP Center right now. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the training specifically. All right, so see you right after the break. You're back on the morning bell. We were talking about NLP or neuro linguistic programming. Now, uh, with regards to Navigo um, uh, Center, NLP mm -hmm. Center, yep. so how is your training methodology? Yep. How, how does it work? Uh, the methodology is very interactive. We have um, the, our, in our trainings, we teach the techniques itself. We talk about the subject, how it's being done, mm. and then uh, we do demonstrations. So it's sure. important that the trainer, of course, knows how NLP works, can, can prove that it works and show how it works to the people. And then the program itself allows them that the participants themselves do the exercise with each other. And we're working not with case studies, we're working with real life examples. So the people are work is working and practicing right. on, on their own issues while they're learning the technique and can see how right. powerful it is to change something so quickly right. uh, and, and easily. So different people who have different issues, it's still applicable because it's more on a generic level? I mean, it's more on a well, they surface level? Yes, there are some generic things, but it has, as I mentioned, it has to do with the mind and, and the techniques they're learning, basically, yeah. the basics. Can be applied. Can be applied to so many other things. Right. Yeah. Can mm -hmm. be applied to so many other things. It doesn't have to Even be just one. Even a housewife also can uh, use to that. To a CEO, all the way to the housewife. Yes. These are things you can uh, use in your daily actually, lives. Yep. Yeah. Negotiation in the wet market. <laughs> <laughs> how, to, how to put a positive picture and a positive right. compelling picture right. into someone's mind so that he feels more motivated helps the seed oh right. but helps also the, the mother, the father in order to housewife is one person that needed motivation every day. I, I don't
Sometimes maybe it's not motivation. Uh, it, it's mm. not just on that level. Like uh, techniques in NLP will include things like which I come across anchoring, uh, anchoring. matching, mirroring, yes, exactly uh, that kind yeah. of thing. So, so these, these are, are the things you learn. These are the specific techniques you learn. The techniques like anchoring, uh, working with sub modalities mm. um, or modalities, our five senses, right, which right. make up our experience. We only have our five senses available, and once I change them, I change the experience. All our experiences are coded. This is the language of the mind, are coded right. in these five modalities, see, hear, feel, smell, and taste. Right. And once mm. I change them, my experience changes, the way how I feel about it. That's why I mentioned before, the good thing about the past is that it's over. Mm -hmm. So yep. in NLP, we don't go into the past because we don't care much about it because you're doing your problem in the present. Right. Yeah. So one thing with regards to changing your experience, you have to have the awareness first before you can I mean, I guess one example, if I would take this glass yep. of water, I splash it on <laughs> Joanne's face. Wow. She has, she has many ways to respond, How right? How specifically would you do this? <laughs> you know what's going to happen? I'm going to just smile and say, right. it's a holy water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm so refreshed right now. Yeah. You, you can choose how you react, right? You can be exactly. angry, you can choose to be That's calm. Or you could ask, Raj, why did you do why that? Why did you do that? So it's actually yeah. something That's which you... Exactly, you but have a wait, choice. You have always why a choice. do you really want you to do that? You always have a choice right. and people realize that they have a choice. And very often people believe they don't have a choice. And one choice is no choice. Two choices is a dilemma. Mm. So we, in NLP, we basically create choices for people. We don't change really people, but we offer choices so they have the choice to change and choose a different way of doing things. Right, right. Now, one, one quick thing is, I believe that there are, there are big things happening very, very soon yes. uh, with regards to uh, navigation. Give us a bit about it. Yes, we have one uh, big program coming up. I managed we bring in an international speaker, Owen Fitzpatrick. He's one of Europe's leading experts in the field of right, charisma. Right, you can see a picture of him with exactly. you. Right, yeah. awesome. Uh, he's one of the leading experts in the field of charisma. He's a psychologist. He's Ooh. a broadcaster. Wow, do we get two free tickets for that? <laughs> well, we, we can talk about that one. He's a TV host, so he's right. an author, accomplished author. Just his latest book, uh, The Charismatic Edge, uh, just came out. Mm. And he will be coming to Malaysia to teach a two-day program on 18th, 19th of April. Okay. Next um, one, right? Uh, charisma, You're free, right? I'm free. Yeah. yeah, charisma as a business advantage. Mm. Okay. Charisma as a business advantage, mm. and which is for uh, people who are f in the business, uh, for professionals, non-professionals who want to learn the art of charisma. Mm. Yeah, where we are using NLP to show people how you can be a charismatic person. Yeah. So, like Oprah Winfield, Bill Clinton, JFK. Sure. Richard, Sir Richard Branson, what do they have in common? Is charisma. Charisma. Right. Yeah. It's interesting what you say. Some people's perception of charisma is that X factor, whether you either have it or, or you don't. You don't right. That kind of thing. Right. You know? No. Charisma is something you can learn. Mm. Yeah. Charisma is something you can. Actually, you have it already. Everybody has it. That's the key. It's just it's whether you're not you, bringing you, break, it out. you break the right. code. Exactly, because mm. you're being blocked by three things the fear of embarrassment, That's the true. fear of failure, That's and the true. fear of rejection. The three worst fears. Now, if you got that, that, you're going to be a top salesperson. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, and how right. to get mm. over this one, this is what we're going to show, or what Owen Fitzpatrick is going to do today's program. He's a personal friend of mine, he's the first time in Malaysia, mm. and he's an awesome trainer. Uh, he's one of the youngest master trainers in the world. At age of 24, he became a master trainer. Wow. Now he's above 30, 35. Right, right. Yeah. So, and he's excellent in his field. Yeah, right. excellent. Mm -hmm. And this right. program is coming up where we are showing people then really the details. How can you become a charismatic speaker, salesperson, business person where you can use this one to lead other people? Hey, we are TV hosts. We need our charisma. You That's need right. your fan yeah. base on yeah. your Facebook. Fan you need page. more Twitter fans, I, I need, need more, more Facebook Twitter fans. fans. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, so right. So we have for this program, we have different levels. We have the standard tickets for public. We have platinum tickets. We have gold tickets. Someone will get closer, would like to get, closer, in, get yes. his personal insights and that kind yeah. of thing. Right? For those people who get the platinum tickets, they get a special evening mm. session with Owen Fitzpatrick where he teaches the secrets, some more secrets on the field of charisma, how to right. get this one. Right. Yes. So if they're interested, how do so they get a, the... Uh, it's a big that's event. Right, that's We're right, working that's together right. with the uh, MICCI, Malaysian International Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the Best Western Premier, Dua Central. Ah, <laughs> I you know the magic how to word. get away. <laughs> I know how to so get So it's going to be held in Best Western. Best right. Western Premier, Dua Central, exactly. Right. We, right. we, we are going for it. Uh, that's right. You see, that's the, the bellboy. That's the bellboy. You, you, right. you like this hotel? <laughs> uh, 
Jonathan Batman. Who yes, he was one of our guests. Mr. Mr. Jonathan. All right. Ah, the See, Wishman. Small world. Uh, yeah. Small world. Wow, what a small world. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, in other words, with regards to picking up skills from from this uh, two days, is it a two day? It's a two day program from two -day morning program. to evening. It's really a, a, a course, a workshop. Mm -hmm. Uh, where they learn the, really the skills, NLP skills, and by doing so, enhancing their own charisma and really learning how to be a charismatic person. Two days, is that sufficient? It's a starting point. Well, with everything, it's, it's a lifelong learning process. Know how to start it, then you can fine tune it on your way. You can further study with this one. Um, for the platinum tickets, for example, when corporates buy this one, we have a follow up training right. in there. Which is very important. Mm. It's just not about, okay, thank just you so much. Just go two days and that's it. Yeah. 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 It's a continuous of course, you have to continue it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the initiative. If mm. someone would like more information with regards to, to this, and of course, what Navigo NLP Center mm -hmm. is all about, where can they find this information? They can find it on our website, right. navigonlp.com. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And there you find all the information on NLP. Mm -hmm. What is this all about? What so is the right, We can see on screen yep. right now the website, which right. you can find all the necessary information. Yep. So the yeah. tickets have been um, selling right now? It's, it's the on tickets sale? are selling, mm -hmm. it's on sale. They can mm -hmm. sign up online directly with us. There's an at your website? At your, your web website. At our website, right. exactly. Right. And for the platinum and gold tickets, they need to call us in mm -hmm. and we will discuss then further right, with them. Right, right. Yeah. Fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic. Well, I, have yeah, you learned something today? I have learned something that. One thing good about the past is it's over. It's, it's over, over. Exactly. And everything happens now. Of course, it does have a reason, mm. and it's whether you want to take it to think that oh, why does this happen to me? Rather than just take it, hey, I'm blessed that this thing happened, though. Really, I'm I'm blessed that I things happen today yeah. because it makes there's always a reason if you can find the reason of that and then you'll break the fear wow. but looks like we have a new uh, NLP practitioner hey very simple it. I've always make I've always whim about my boyfriend situation why hasn't that thing happened well okay send your boyfriend to uh, <laughs> the course yeah, next month if it's business very, very good success to become yeah. a seller. okay mm. if you have any thoughts with regards or you like more information what, what we discussed just now well you can always email us at updates at capital D tv.my yep. or tweet us at the capital TV as always with that we are almost out of time Carson thank you for being on our show thank today thank you so much we thank look you. forward yeah. to yeah. the uh, the, the training. Owen. The training. The, the, That's the training. right. Owen Fitzpatrick. 18, 19 coming. of April. 18, 19 of April. If you want more information, you know where to find it at the website mentioned just now. With that, have a great week ahead. Me and Joanne yep. are signing off right now. We'll see you same place, same time tomorrow. tomorrow. So with that, take care and bye-bye. Thank you. Pleasure having you. Thank you. Thank you so much.